निखिल भोसले फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर साइंस ए एम एल डिपार्टमेंट के आई डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर टूडे वी आर लुकिंग अप विद द यूनिट वन एट जीरो एट फाइव माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड वील बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द फो वील डेटा ट्रांसफर इंस्ट्रक्शन विच इज लेसन फो सो अगेन हियर वील बी लुकिंग अप ऑफ हाउ द डेटा इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर टू मेमरी एंड फ्रॉम मेमरी टू द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इन द प्रीवियस लेसन वी हैव सीन अप थ्रू सम ऑफ द सम ऑफ द इंस्ट्रक्शन लाइक मूव एम बी आई एल एक्स आई एल डी ए एंड एस टी ए टूडे हियर वी आर गॉन अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द अदर इंस्ट्रक्शन अमॉन्ग दैट द फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन वी विल बी लुकिंग इज एल डी ए एक्स एल डी ए एक्स कैन बी आईदर रिप्रेजेंटेड एज बी विच इज पी सी एंड डी ओके सो हियर द मीनिंग ऑफ एल डी ए एक्स इज लोड द कंटेंट इन एक्यूमुलेटर इनडायरेक्टली बाय यूजिंग द रजिस्टर पेर हियर it means that we have to load the content in the accumulator by the memory pointer that is represented by the bc register okay we we'll look up through the example to clearly understand this concept so in the microprocessor here if i am having the value of bc as 83 and 49 now to load the content of uh, 83 and 49 in the bc register we will be writing the instruction as lxi b comma 8349h that means the 83 value will be passed to the b register 49 value will be passed to the c register when we write the instruction as ldaxb that mean the content we have to load the content in the accumulator okay from the memory pointer represented by the bc register that means the bc register represents the memory pointer and the content of that bc register memory pointer will be loaded in the accumulator okay so in the ldax we will be loading the content in the accumulator from the register pair representing the memory pointer okay we we'll look up through the next instruction that is stax b or d because we will be either representing as bc or d register as the memory pointer okay so if i write the instruction as first of all if i write the instruction as lxi d comma f093h i have mentioned the instruction as lxi d comma f093 that means inside the microprocessor the register representing as de will be having the value as f0 and 93 when we after this instruction if i write the instruction as stax b okay that means we will be storing the content of accumulator into the memory pointer represented by the bc register that means F zero nine three here represents the memory location pointer, and the content of the accumulator will be stored in this location. Okay, so this is the concept of LDAX and STAX. So here. STAX is the content of the accumulator is copied into the memory location specified by the register pair which will be which will be either BC or DE okay then we had even seen the S LDAX instruction right LDAX and STAX 
the next instruction we will be looking is LHLD that means to this instruction copies the content of the memory location pointed out okay by 16 register into L register okay here I will uh, mention it through the example for you LHLD address okay here the the two eight bit data from the address will be stored in the HNL register okay that means consider if I write the instruction as LHLD four three five zero H means here inside the memory I will be having the location as 4350 in which one 8 bit value is there another location 4351 in which another 8 bit value is there okay and when I execute the instruction as LHLD 4350 H that means now first the 8 bit data from 4350 will be loaded into the L register this I will mark as X and this I will mark as Y okay so the first memory location content will be loaded in the L register the next memory location content will be loaded in the X H register. This is the example of LHLD. LHLD means to load the content okay into the HL register from the address location. The first address location content will be loaded in the L register. The second uh, address location content will be loaded in the H register. Okay. Similarly, the next instruction we are having as we had seen through LDA and STA. First was loading the content then was storing the content. LDX STX loading the contents of the accumulator into the accumulator indirectly and storing the content of the accumulator into the memory we had seen LHLD okay similarly like LHLD what will be the next instruction SHLD so if I write the instruction as SHLD 4350H that is to store the contents of HL register into the addresses. Okay. That means here consider in H and L register I am having the value as Y and X. Okay. Which are the 8 bit data. And as it has been shown here, the first address is 4350 and the next address is 4351. So here the Y or the L register value will be first stored in the address location. Address will be incremented by 1 and the next memory location inside that the X value will be stored of the H register. So basically in the SHLD it is to store the content of HL register uh, from the memory location 4350. Okay. In the 4350 location, first the L register content will be stored, the, re the address will be incremented by 1 and in the next address location, the H register value will be stored. So this is about the LSH, LSH, uh, LHLD and SHLD instructions. The last we will be looking is about the exchange instruction exchange basically exchange the content of HL register with DE register ok so that is consider
consider in the D register I am having the value as 84 and 93 okay and in the HL register I am having the value as F0 and F5 okay these are the values that I am having in the D and HL register okay now or else what what I can do like LXI I will say D comma 8493 that means the value of D and E register will be 84 and 93 next is LXI H comma F0 F5 that means the value of H register will be F0 and the value of uh, L register will be F5 after that I will mention the exchange instruction okay now what happens the value of H register will be interchanged with D and the value of L register will be interchanged with E. Okay. Now, what will be the value of HL register by the interchange? The value will be that of the D register that is 8493. And the value of the B or D E register will be that of the HL register that is F0. F5. So here in the exchange, there is the exchange of the content from the D and HL register. In the next lecture, we will be understanding the logical transfer instructions like ORA, XRI, ANA, ANI. Okay, how the AND or operation is performed by the, from the register content or even from the immediate value content. Okay, thank you.